Hello boys and girls, Mr. Ledeen here. We're going to continue with our online dribbling lessons for basketball. So if you have a basketball, you can go ahead and grab one. Um, if you don't, you can just have a ball of socks, some type of ball, maybe a football, because you can just toss it up and catch it, or like a bouncing ball, some type like that. And we're just going to go through a couple different activities for you guys to do. Um, I want to say we like, we like the videos that you're sending in. Um, it's fun to watch. It's good imagination that you guys come up with. Um, so continue to do that, and we will continue with this lesson. So the first one we're going to do, I know you guys have done this a little bit before, but we're just going to drop, and then we're going to clap and catch it. So it'll look like this. Drop, catch. If you, wanna, if you feel comfortable with that from doing prior lessons, you can try to go under the ball and you can try to go under and over the ball. So like, like that. Ooh. Just like that. So we'll let you do that one for about 30 seconds and then we'll switch to the next one. All right, for this next one, we're gonna do alternating hands. So just at your like waist level, um, you don't need to go up in your head or not down low yet. We're just gonna start here and we're gonna go alternating hands for every bounce. So it'll look like something like this. Just right, left, right, left, right, left. Remember to use your fingertips and you don't wanna use the palms of your hands. So you wanna just push it down. with your finger pads. So you guys can do that one for about 20 seconds and we'll move on to the next one. For this next one, we're just gonna go single-handed. So you can either start with your right or left hand. I'm gonna start with my right hand and we're just gonna start dribbling at about midsection height so from your waist to your shoulder we're just going to have a high bounce and then we'll switch to low really quick but for, to start out we'll do a high bounce and then when you're comfortable we'll move it to the low so the low will be right about at your kneecaps and you just want to keep it at that level and if you feel comfortable with that, then you can kind of switch. So you'll start low, and then you'll come high, and go low again. Then when you're done with that one, I'll let you do that for about 10 seconds here, then we'll switch to the left. So now switch to your other hand. If you started with your left, go to your right. If you started with your right, go to your left. And we'll just start with the high dribble. Then go to low. Woo, lost it. Then you can come back to high again. seconds and then we'll switch to the next one. All right for this next one um, we're gonna go a step further than what our last lesson was. So the last lesson we were rolling it around our leg just one leg. So now what I want you guys to try to do is try to dribble around that one leg. So just like that. When you 
get comfortable with that, try to switch directions. So just like that, we'll give you about 20 seconds to do that one, and then we'll switch. For this next one, um, this will be another opportunity from the last one. We're just going to do our figure eight pattern, but we're just going to start with rolling. So just like this, and we'll just roll it in a figure eight pattern in between our legs and around our legs. If you get comfortable, you can switch and go the other direction. Just like that. Remember to use the fingertips or finger pads. That'll allow you to have more control. So you guys can do that one for about 30 seconds here. Then we'll switch. Alright, so we're going to continue with our figure eight, and just like we went around our one leg while dribbling, now we did the rolling for our figure eight, we're going to try to dribble in the figure eight pattern. So it'll look like this, you might have to bend your knees a little bit to allow your arms to get down here, but it'll just look something like this. Just like that. For that one, you might need a hard surface, so maybe not on carpet. If you don't have a hard surface, you can just do the rolling figure eight again. Um, and if you don't have a bouncing ball, you can do the rolling as well with the ball or object that you guys choose. So if you want to do that one for about 20 seconds, go ahead and do that, and then we'll switch to our last one. For the last one, we're just going to work on crossovers. So when you want to do a crossover, it'll go from your right hand to your left, and then from your left hand back to your right, and that'll just be a continuous motion. So we're going to have it in front of our body, you kind of want to lean forward a little bit, just like that, and you will start, we'll just start going low. So just switch from right to left, and then back. Just like that. So if you want to start by doing it low, and it'll just go a little bit outside of the width of our feet. So just a little bit outside. We don't want to go way out here or way out here. You want to keep it nice and tight. Just like that. So do that one for about 10 seconds, and then we'll make it a little bit harder for you guys. All right, this last one is going to continue with the crossover, but now you want to try to get it out here, way outside the width of your knees or feet. So you want to start here. Just like that. Try to get your arm to be straight out. Don't have it bent like this. Just try to get it way out from your body. Do that one for about 10 seconds and then we'll finish up our lesson. Thanks guys. We look forward to seeing your responses. Have a good rest of your week.